in this lecture we will study about the most new points in clinical setting related to abnormal uterine bleeding okay first of all we should know that any deviation for from the normal bleeding period in the menstruation is known as abnormal uterine bleeding it can be oligomenorrhea it can be polymenorrhea it can be menorrhagia metrorrhagia menometrorrhagia okay oligo oligo means uh, if the bleeding period or the cycle of the menstruation is uh, of more than 45 days polymenorrhea if the cycle is less than 21 days menorrhagia it is excessive bleeding during menstrual cycle metrorrhagia it is irregular cycle irregular cycle menometrorrhagia is it is excess bleed along with irregular cycle these all comes under AUV or abnormal uterine bleeding okay now to divide abnormal uterine bleeding we should also differentiate it according to the ovulatory or an ovulatory type ovulatory so how we can uh, differentiate whether the uh, AUV is ovulatory type or an ovulatory type we can ask the patient whether the cycle is regular or irregular if the cycle is regular but there is some sort of abnormality in the uh, bleeding period then it is ovulatory type of AUV and if the cycle is irregular along with the abnormal uterine bleeding then it will be anovulatory the most common causes related to ovulatory or regular uh, cycle AUV will be thyroid disorder it can be bleeding disorder or it can be structural abnormality in the uterus like fibroid or polyps because our hormone is not affected in case of ovulatory type okay but usually in an ovulatory uh, type of AUV the hormonal sequence starting from the hypothalamus to pituitary to uh, ovary to uterus is disturbed in case of an ovulatory type so what will be the common causes in case of an ovulatory it is PCOS polycystic ovarian syndrome it can be thyroid disorder again thyroid disorder it can be hyperprolactinemia liver or kidney disease can also cause an ovulatory type of AUV or drugs like antidepressant antipsychotic causes an ovulatory type of AUV now what will be our diagnostic modality the first and the foremost diagnostic modality will be our USC of the pelvis we need to look for the any structural abnormality or endometrial thickness or any form of structural abnormality uh, seen in the pelvis okay so this is our first investigation finding now we should also know that if the patient is uh, postmenopausal in case if the patient is postmenopausal and there is a bleeding then we should always suspect of the carcinoma of the endometrium or uh, some sort of carcinoma is present so we should um, uh, look for the stereoscopy guided endometrial biopsy should be taken and um, uh, before that uh, a suggestive uh, investigation from the USC pelvis 
uh, we can say it and um, we can look for the endometrial endometrial thickness if the thickness is more than 4 mm then we should always go for the endometrial biopsy endometrial biopsy because it is very likely to be endometrial carcinoma so it should always be ruled out by uh, taking the biopsy and send for a uh, histopathology okay now coming to the treatment modality treatment modality as we can we saw that there are different variety of cause for the abnormal uterine bleeding so uh, we should treat according to the cause suppose that if the cause was any structural abnormality in the uterus like fibroid or polyp so we should go for the structural if there is a structural abnormality we will go for surgical resection surgical uh, resection can be done if there is any endocrine abnormality then we will <coughs> try to <coughs> revert back the endocrine abnormality by giving uh, or antagonizing the hormone level for the women with an ovulatory cycle who wishes for fertility okay an ovulatory type of cycle but wish wishes to pregnancy then we prescribe them medroxyprogesterone medroxyprogesterone acetate this is the treatment modality and if the patient do not wishes uh, uh, for pregnancy and needs uh, some sort of contraception in case of inovulatory if she do not need uh, she needs contraception then we can prescribe them oral contraceptive pills okay in case of anovulatory, we can give medroxyprogesterone if she wishes pregnancy and if she do not wishes pregnancy, she needs contraception, we can prescribe him, uh, we can prescribe her uh, oral contraceptive pills or levonorgestrel containing IUD, levonorgestrel containing IUD can be prescribed to her one point uh, is remaining uh, in case of abnormal uterine bleeding we should always rule out in any case of abnormal uterine bleed always rule out pregnancy and ectopic pregnancy this is very high yield points in case of AUB we should always look for pregnancy and ectopic pregnancy in case of abnormal uterine bleeding Thank you.